Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We are back with another foundation review and today we're going to be talking about the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. This is, I got the shade 4.0. This is supposed to be a full coverage matte waterproof and long wear foundation that's oil free and it is supposed to last all night so I was super interested in the foundation right when it came out. I wasn't too interested in it for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I just kind of felt like I don't know, I kind of felt like, do you ever just look at foundations and say to yourself, yeah, maybe that won't work for me. And that's how I felt, so. But I did hear a lot of great things about the foundation. Um, I didn't look at any reviews, actually. I just um, had heard some great things in uh, YouTuber videos as they were talking about um, how to, you know, achieve um, a flawless, you know, shine-free, uh, sweat-proof, um, makeup looks so that kind of led me to think hey you know I'll try it out because I'm a very oily person and I always need shine control I am super super shiny and sometimes I wonder if like you know some people who say they're oily if they are truly truly as oily as I am because I am super super oily <laughs> like some foundations don't work that well on me as it does for other people because I'm so oily for example, if I start my day at 8 a.m. and have my makeup on, I will get shiny by 11 or 12 p.m. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. that day. That's not even eight hours, and I am already getting shiny, and I don't want that. Um, I mean, it's for an oily skin girl. I feel like it's inevitable now because I feel like I've tried so many foundations that have not worked for me. But I'm still on a great on a mission to find the perfect foundation for me. Um, I still do love my. Uh, Maybelline 24 hour. Um, that's something I definitely use every day. Um, I'm still loving the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour foundation. That is full coverage. That works really well as well on my oily skin. Um, I do notice though that they don't really have that many shades that have like a yellow undertone like I need. I am super yellow as well. So that's something else that is a struggle. <laughs> super oily and super yellow undertone. So it makes it hard. But I haven't really been reaching for my Fenty, my Laura Mercier, my Tarte Shape Tape, actually, foundations, because they don't give me enough shine control as I would want. So unfortunately, you know, I'll still be using those foundations, but I won't be using them as much. And let me just go through the, a little bit on the foundation itself. This is the All Nighter Foundation by Urban Decay, full coverage with a modern matte finish, never looks overdone, but look looks and stays amazing all night and all day demi matte never flat um and seen amount of pigment so it's full coverage um waterproof diffuses light to blur flaws magnifies and absorbs oil to reduce the appearance of shine so again i do get shiny within a few hours of the day um and when i finish work around 5 p.m i get super shiny and i would love my foundation to last until like 9 p.m so, and I, when I say last, I mean, um, not that much shine, um, stays flawless, looks really good, doesn't oxidize too much, and stays in my face. Um, so, that is that. Let's get into the video. I'm going to stop rambling on about my face. <laughs> and we're going to do a first impression and wear test and check in at the end of the day to see how things look. And I'm also going to do a um, one week check in because... I found that after the first day of enjoying a foundation, I did not like it after quite a while. So I'm going to wear it for a week before giving you my final thoughts about the foundation itself, just so I give you a thorough and honest review of the foundation and see if it works for you. So I will do that and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe and follow my Instagram um, because I'm going to start trying to post more about makeup on Instagram and so you can see more about my about the other things that I enjoy and maybe don't enjoy. So um, hope you guys have an awesome time and awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. I got little samples of three and four. Four. So four is one I have. I have a shade. I have a shade three as well that I want to swatch out to kind of help you um, when you're like finding your shade. So you can probably see the, the right. This one here is a three. This is a four, and it does look different. This one here looks a little bit more sand, um, sand color. This one here is a little, definitely a lot lighter, and it's a little more pinkish to me. 
But I'm gonna leave those on my arm to kind of um, kind of set because I did notice that yesterday when I swatched them on my arm, they got a lot darker. So these do oxidize. Please note. Um, okay, so we're gonna go with the foundation. Not too bad. So I did about one and a half pumps. I'm just gonna take a concealer brush, kind of start putting that on my face, and blend that out. I'm not sure what you think, but I kind of look like a ghost right now. So <laughs> it does seem like full coverage. Um, it does seem like my skin still kind of peeks through, which isn't too bad um, because, um, like, I still I don't want to look like it's too full, but I also do want to look like my skin is flawless. Um, I still I kind of see some acne that's peeking through. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it. You probably see it a little bit better here. Some acne coming through. I kind of feel like a ghost, but I do know that this is going to oxidize, so I'm okay with that. Um, in person, it looks really good. It matches my skin really, really well. But over the camera, I look like a ghost right now, so <laughs> not sure why. Hopefully, changing the exposure can really show you how it looks on my skin. And other little swatches again. You can definitely see it got a lot darker. So yeah. Not too bad. I still do see some under eye circles. I do see a decent amount of texture on my face. More so than some of the other foundations I've used. So... I'm gonna put a little bit more coverage on my cheek right here because I do still see a little bit peeking through. I'm just gonna pat that in. And another layer went on pretty well. It doesn't look like it's too bad. It doesn't look too cakey putting on another layer. But I do notice on my forehead it is showing some texture. It's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. But we will see how it looks throughout the day because as my oils come out I do feel like it will look a lot better. So I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm actually just going to put concealer right under my eyes so that later on I can tell if the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation worked with my oily skin. So I'm not going to be putting concealer like on my t-zone or on my forehead like I usually do whenever I contour. I'm just going to keep it under my eyes so I can really see for sure if the um, if the foundation helped with my T-zone area. And we are gonna powder today with the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. I still feel like the texture is still on my forehead, but. It's not as bad as it was, and again, I said that um, after the oils come through, I know it, it will start looking okay, so I'm not too worried about that, but this is how it looks. I'm going to finish my makeup for the day, tell you how my other makeup uh, applied on top of the foundation base, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm all set with my makeup. Uh, I look normal again, so <laughs> um, I think the foundation looks pretty good right now. Um, my blush, bronzer, um, and everything else above it went on fine. 
which is nice. Um, I actually do think that it emphasized my, uh, my con- well, not my contour. It did emphasize my bronzer and blush a little bit more than usual, which is kind of nice. Um, right now, I do notice the color is starting to get a little bit darker, and it's starting to match my actual shade, which you can probably tell in the uh, video here. Like, earlier, it was a lot lighter, and now it's kind of matching my shade. Um, I want to show you the swatch again. Alright, so there is a fresh swatch of the shades. It's a four again right here. This is a fresh one. This is the oxidized one, the one that's been sitting for maybe like 20 minutes. This is a three fresh, and this is the one that's oxidized, the three. So, yeah. They definitely do oxidize. Um, it looked a lot lighter on me earlier than number four, and it didn't really look like my skin color. It looked kind of too pale for me, but right now, it definitely is getting darker, and I'm kind of scared that it's going to get a lot darker than what it is what it looks like right now so hopefully it does not do that because right now is my perfect shade I would say uh, the application was uh, was was pretty simple pretty easy uh, I worked you know didn't work faster or um, slower than usual and I found that it was full coverage it did I did have to put a little bit more coverage on my problem areas like scars and stuff so you might have to do that too if you do have scarring I did notice a little bit of texture um, on my forehead and maybe around like my nose area as well so if you do have like dry skin or if you have any um, dry patches it might not be good for you for me I get super super oily so I right now it looks a tad dry I know that throughout the day is gonna look fine because I secrete so much oil that it's gonna be okay <laughs> so um it is a matte finish, which I am really enjoying. It's not a flat matte. It is pretty matte though. So just know that it is matte, but it's definitely not completely flat, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I guess that's the only thing I can say right now based on the application, based on what I see. And later on, right now, I you know, I finished my makeup around 1 o'clock today. And I want to do a check-in throughout the day. I'm going to show you a few different views from different angles, different lighting, so you can see how the foundation looks. And um, we're going to do a check-in near the end of the day. Today is a super hot day, so hopefully it lasts. We'll see if it's like the ultimate foundation. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Here is the foundation in some different lighting. So you can see... Hopefully you can see the forehead, a little bit dry, but no worries for me. So my acne is peeking through. And it's super matte. You can't really see too much of my of my face grooves, whatever they're called. <laughs> hey everyone! So it is about nine thirty at night, and I've only had the foundation on for eight hours. <laughs> and as you can see, I am really oily and shiny. super oily super shiny I actually started getting shiny around like four or five hours and um, the foundation itself got a lot darker than I thought it would you probably can't really see how much darker it got but it did get a lot darker on me Just showing a few different angles sorry for moving around so much but yeah I mean I don't know how I feel I'm going to definitely take um, to try. Uh, I'm definitely going to try it for about a week to see how well it lasts throughout the day from 8 a.m. Because today I did start at 1:30 p.m. 1 1:30, and it's 9:30, so it's only been eight hours, and it claims to be. Um, I mean, all night. It doesn't have like a certain uh, number of hours, like 12 hours, 24 hours, like others. But it's supposed to be all night. It's supposed to um, be waterproof. And it's supposed to absorb oil to reduce appearance of shine. So I am just super shiny. 
as you can tell. So tonight, um, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan, unfortunately. I mean, I like the way it looked when it was matte on my face earlier today, but, and I don't mind the color. I do look like I have a tan, <sighs> but it's very, um, I don't know, it's very oily. So I'm just going to take a tissue and blot because I do think that this comes off a little bit. I got a little bit of transfer right there, as you can see. Uh, I didn't blot all day today. I didn't use any setting spray. I didn't use any primer. And I never usually use primers. And I really wanted to see if it uh, would work without a primer and without setting spray. But I guess it did not. So I might need to set it, which is unfortunate because I thought it would it would last more than 8 hours, I guess. It's only 9 p.m. How am I going to last the rest of the night when it's only 9 um, but yeah, I blotted a little bit. It's still, it looks really good. It looks matte. But um, I really wanted to not blot today and see how it lasts. Because I'm not a fan of blotting. But I might have to. Mm. Well, I mean, I'll either do an update with uh, another video or just leave it in the description below and let you know how I feel about the foundation. But as of right now, um, oh, it applied really well. It looked really nice and really matte. But unfortunately, it I did get really shiny throughout the day. Um, blotting um, seemed to d help a lot. And it still looks very flawless, even after using tissue and taking off the excess uh, shine. But, I mean, I just... <sighs> Foundations never work for me. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I um, hope this was very helpful to you and your search for the perfect foundation for oily skin. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Good night. Bye.